Hey y'all, I'm actually quite notoriously bad at cooking, but a bunch of people requested I make a cooking tutorial, and because I'm vegan, vegan donuts. You're gonna need one cup of um, flour, plain flour. I'm not entirely sure, actually, if this is plain flour or not. It could be self-raising, let's find out. You need one cup of sugar. How big is a cup? One and a half teaspoon of baking powder, quarter of a thing of salt, nutmeg, cinnamon, soy milk, because we're vegan, egg replacement, because still vegan. You know, fun fact, if, if you don't have an egg replacer, you can use a mushed up banana, because that's basically the same thing, apparently, according to Wiki, Wiki How. Apple cider vinegar, half a teaspoon of pure vanilla. Now, this is vanilla essence, but that's basically the same thing. I don't have shortening, but I have canola oil, which is basically the same thing. Let's cook! Let's hope it doesn't go bad. We're gonna learn together because I've never done this before. Is sugar meant to be this lumpy? No, that's the complete wrong measurement. It's great, you can't see anything that's happening right now. Got your one cup of flour. Sugar. Bam. How big is a teaspoon? What is that? Who wants my attention? Just pour a bunch of sugar into a mixing bowl and then the and then my dentist texts me saying Come on, you haven't checked your teeth yet in, in quite a while. You need an appointment. Shut up, dentist, I'm making donuts. Is baking powder meant to be this lumpy? Oh, uh, whoops. Okay, that's a quarter teaspoon of salt. Not four. Let's pretend that never happened. <laughs> I can read simple numbers. Bam. Eh. Quarter of a teaspoon of uh, cinnamon. Pinch of cinnamon. Yeah. Ah, mess. I'm looking after someone's house in a couple of days. They're entrusting me with with making sure that their dog doesn't die. Sorry in advance, Brooke. Am I meant to be using hands? Did I wash my hands? Remember, kids, hygiene really isn't that important if you're the only one eating these. No, that's a terrible message. I'm a terrible role model. Then again, like. Really, who looks at me as a role model? Like, you've seen my videos. I eat rocks. Don't copy me, kids. Now for wet ingredients. First, tell them they're pretty. And then you've never met anyone quite as sexy as... Egg replacement. That's not a wet ingredient. This recipe is... Oh, preheat the oven! <sighs> preheat... Don't forget to preheat the oven. I think that's important. Can, um, Vita Soy please give me money to have their product in this video? Or maybe pay me to cease putting their products in my videos, depending on how, how good or bad these donuts turn out. Um, I need money. I, I need money. Got your half cup soy. I bought this entire thing just, just for this one video, just, just to make this batch of donuts. Half a teaspoon. Oh, wow. Fun fact, kids. <coughs> I think it smells terrible. <laughs> Keep saying kids, you're not my class. Half a teaspoon of vinegar, or vinegar essence. No, imitation vanilla essence. It's not even the fake thing, it's the fake fake thing. It's basically the same thing. How does eggs work? This looks like cocaine. Whoops. Double whoops. Yeah, it says, Mix the powder with two tablespoons of water. May you do that before you put it in? I don't know, I don't care. What do tablespoons look like? Is this the big one? Is this the soup spoon? Is one bigger than the other? There's no time to Google this. We'll just improvise and put more water. Four teaspoons, I hope I'm reading it correctly, of oil. Yay! I think this is what you're meant to use. Mmm, it looks like a milkshake. Supposedly I have a donut tray that um, we've never used. Somewhere. It's not like we've had it for years. Some people think donuts should have holes in them. I think that is an unrealistic expectation for donuts to live up to. So we're gonna have holeless donuts, like cupcakes. They can, they can be like cupcakes if they want. Like, who are you to judge their life choices. Next step is combining the mixtures. What does this all actually smell like good? It may smell terrible, but boy, does the, this th Vitasoy t tastes good. Yes. G yeah. Good. 
Buy the soy. Please give me money. Hey, that actually tastes quite all right. The next step is to eat your batter for the next five minutes and pretend you don't have to cook it at all. Put the donuts in the thing. Next step, kids, is to eat whatever's left of the batter. Make sure you get as much of the food as possible before you have to share them after you've cooked them. And now we bake. Yay! Yay! See, cooking can be fun with Vitasoy. Oh, I don't feel too well. Oh, this is probably a bad time to realize that I'm diabetic. Mmm, that's exactly what donuts look like. I assume you let them cool down or something. Well, uh, whatever. Ow. <laughs> Ow! Why must the things I love burn me? Ow. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm gonna stop now. Or will I? Just one more. Ow. Oh! How have we stayed alive this long? Donuts do not work like ice cubes. Like, I've just made cinnamon vegan cupcakes, haven't I? So here you go. Uh, <coughs> sorry, let's, yep, yeah, these are vegan wholeless donuts. Or, bam, donut. No longer a cupcake. You have been changed. You have been remade. Mmm. Good. To all those out there who thought I was going to die by the end of this process, you were wrong. These taste great. Oh, thanks to Vitaroy, I mean Vita Soy, soy bean drink milk made organic. Buy it today at local stores and CD back alleys where vegans stalk, waiting for soy dealers to give them their sweet, sweet fix of soy related products. Ingredients filtered water. Bam! And that's how you sort of make vegan donuts. Link to the recipe in the description if you want to make these yourself. Maybe, you know, better without, you know, having to perform surgery on the donuts so they actually look like donuts. Goodbye, YouTube.